Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 29, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to follow our trades over at Ether. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as I said in yesterday video, we are most likely going to run into resistance at the 20 exponential, which we are at this current stage. So we have been finding the 20 exponential here all day long. We have broken down, rallied, broken down, rallied. We're down a little bit today, give or take half a percent uh, uh, at this point. MACD is still in negative territory underneath the signal line. Stochastic is bullish. The CCI is still bearish. And the RSI is technically flat. So if we don't manage to break above the 20 exponential, uh, we are most likely going to roll over here and head back towards the previous lows at uh, 50,000 or probably at, at 37k. So yes, it is. Um, if you look at the, for example, the weekly chart, we did bounce significantly. We went all the way down to the 20 exponential here in the weekly chart and then significantly bounced. That is a massive move to the upside for Bitcoin. But we have not taken out these previous highs and we're still underneath the MACD here. And as I said back um, in my video, when we started breaking down here, uh, this crossing here could be significant, but we could also roll over here and just continue rallying to the upside. However, the last time we basically crossed these two lines was back here in, uh, in November when this massive rally started. So it is to be seen whether or not we are going to see Bitcoin go lower or uh, if we just break the 20 exponential and the 50 and then just go higher from here. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements, we can also see that, that the reason why we ran into resistance right here is because we have the 50 Fibonacci retracement exactly where we have found uh, quite a lot of resistance. So yes, we need to break above the 61.8 in order to go higher. So let's look at Ethereum. So this has just completely outperformed Bitcoin the last few trading days. We're significantly outside of the Bollinger Band. We're also overbought, but still, it can go up to 93 uh, in the RSI before it basically starts breaking down significantly, as we've seen in the past where we were over here, where we were basically at nine, give or take 94 before we both broke down. But we are outside of the bullish band. Last time we were at, we broke all the way down towards the 50 moving average. So this has been bouncing off the 20 and the 50 moving average for a real long time now, and uh, pullbacks could be expected before going towards 3000, which it looks like this is going to do in uh, the long run. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point. Uh, so uh, pullbacks at to the 20 exponential could be uh, buying opportunities. So let's look at Cardano. So also here in Cardano, which is uh, supposed to be the competition to Ethereum, uh, it has rallied above the middle of the Bullinger Band, and it looks like now it's ready towards uh, toward, to go towards the, the top of the Bullinger Band at the 1.45. Uh, if we break down from here, then we have the 50 moving average and the bottom of the Bullinger Band, which most likely be significant support. Technical indicators are all uh, very bullish, except for the RSI, which is a flat at this current stage. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin also found resistance here at the middle of the bullish band. We broke down, but found support at the 20 exponential moving average, and that is a fairly bullish shine. If we broke below the uh, 20 exponential, we could head all the way down to the uh, 50 moving average down here at 221. If you look at technical indicators, they are all over the place. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is flat, the RSI is flat, so there is not a, a lot of... Uh, help here from these technical indicators. We need to have clear signal whether or not we're going up or we're going down. So let's look at NEO. So NEO has tried to rally and found uh, resistant here at uh, 97. And this was a previous um, area where it had problems back in, in the, only uh, two weeks ago. If we uh, Roll over from here, we'll most likely find support at the 20 exponential. So only a drop of give or take $9, not a massive move to the downside, but uh, 
give or take 9, 9-11%. If we break below the 20 exponential, we could break towards the 50 moving average down here at 60. Otherwise, we could rally up towards the top of the bullish band at 113. Taking the indicators, they are fairly flat at this current stage. Sarcastic is bullish, but otherwise other indicators are flat. So let's look at Dash. So Dash has also tried to rally. It did really well the last two trading days and found a resistance here at the middle of the bullish band. So very similar to Bitcoin and some other uh, cryptocurrency, we could see this retest the previous lows at the 50 moving average or probably even the bottom of the bullish band at 221. Technical indicators are either flat or, uh, or technically you could say uh, all over the place. MACD is um, bearish, so stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So we need a clear signal, break above here, we'll head towards the highs, break below here, we could head all the way down to the water, very bottom of the bullish band. So let's look at FRAN. It's like looking at the same graph, it's um, it's merely all the same. It's, it's only uh, Ethereum that is rallying and you can also say uh, Cardano, but other cryptocurrencies that have been fallen, rally the last two trading days and finding problems in the middle of the bullish band. So this could also roll over from here, head back towards the 50, down at 0 0.09, break above the middle of the bullish band, could open the door to the highs here at 0 0.1623. So, Hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button, see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Etro. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.